How can you become a LinkedIn expert in three easy steps? It's simple. First, just edit your profile and add the word expert to your headline. Then create a page for your quote unquote business and LinkedIn will show you trending articles that you can share to your audience. And you don't have to read them. You can actually share any of these articles in just two clicks to make it seem like you read the whole thing. And for your personal profile, you also want to make it seem like you do a lot of reading on LinkedIn. So you can search for stuff in your topic, like for me, it's data scraping, and then go to posts and you can find other posts by other people. Then scroll all the way down and click like so it'll show up on other people's news feed. Now, when people find you on LinkedIn, you'll trick them into thinking you're an expert because of all the posts you supposedly researched and republished to LinkedIn. But what does it take to become an expert off of LinkedIn, like on your own website or blog? Well, LinkedIn makes this easy too with this embed post feature. I can click on any of these posts I found and embed this on my website by copying and pasting this code into my blog or website, assuming I obey the embed terms of use. Please read that here. And what if I want to be a curator and embed a bunch of these articles, like if I want to make a topic page on my website of relevant LinkedIn posts, I'd have to copy and paste all these individual codes one by one which is pretty tedious and would take a long time. Maybe though, there's an easier way. If we take a closer look at the embed code we have to copy and paste, we'll notice that the only thing that's relevant to the article is this little number here, which looks like a content ID. So instead of copying and pasting this entire code every time, if we just figured out the content IDs for the articles we want to embed, we could save ourselves a lot of manual work. For example, here's the source code to my very awesome website. And if I just get those article IDs I found on LinkedIn, I can declare them in a list here and then pass that list to my template in Django. And then here in this template code with the HTML, I make a section so I can embed all these LinkedIn articles I definitely read. And what I do is I just go through that list and then here's the embed code for LinkedIn. I just copy this once, but inside where it says share colon, I dynamically paste in the LinkedIn ID from that list. So I don't have to go and copy and paste all this manually. So this will go through all these article IDs here and then one at a time we'll inject that ID here. So I'll have two article IDs embedded on my website as an initial test. And here's my really awesome website with my embedded articles. So I can see them here and I can select them and they're interactable which is really nice. It makes your website look nice and professional like the expert you are. But experts are really busy, right? They don't have time to manually get all these content IDs from LinkedIn that they want to embed on their website. So what they can do instead is refer to a practice known as data scraping to somewhat automatically get these IDs back from LinkedIn. Like if I wanted to search for data scraping and update my website with all of the articles on data scraping on say a weekly or monthly basis, I wouldn't do it all manually, I would use the data scraping tool to help me. Now there are a lot of automated scraping tools on the market, however, they are known to be a violation of LinkedIn's terms of service. So I can't encourage anyone to automatically scrape LinkedIn, but in the rest of this video, I'm going to show you a freemium tool that I provide. Full disclosure, we're going to be using the paid version, but you may still be able to get value out of the free version that will allow us to manually use LinkedIn in full accordance with their terms of service but collect all of the structured data, such as the content IDs after we're done using LinkedIn. So there's no violation of a terms of service and no one can get sued. From there, I'm gonna show you how to translate that list of content IDs into embeddable posts you can put on your website. A link in the description for the HAR file tool if you just wanna jump straight to that. To scrape the content IDs, we right click on the page somewhere and hit inspect. This will open up our browser's developer tools and we can click on the network tab. This way we can see the raw data that LinkedIn sends to our browser, which will include more structured data about those posts we want to re-embed on our website. This is known as HAR file web scraping, a system that I invented, and it doesn't violate any terms of service because as you'll see, we're going to use the LinkedIn website normally. And then after that fact is done, we're going to export the data out and analyze it to extract the LinkedIn IDs. So there's no violation since this isn't automated access or anything sketchy like that. So here in the network traffic, we can see these content IDs here from the first page of results. And we really want to extract this out from more pages. Like what if we want to build a big portal of relevant LinkedIn data? We want to go to the next page and then we'll see more network traffic load in our browser's developer tools. And we also want to scoop up that list of IDs as well. So to get more and more data, we just have to keep browsing through more and more pages. So just go back to LinkedIn and you can keep going through all these different pages here until you get to the end or get to enough posts you want to show on your own website. You can also use these filters up here on the top to 
further refine your search that you want to embed on your own website in addition to the keyword you provide, like I put in data scraping. And then once you've gone through enough posts, the trick now is to combine all of these different data responses together into a single file we can get the full list of content IDs for. To do this, just click this button here called export HAR in all major web browsers, and this will export a single HAR file with all of the network data linked and sent you with all the IDs. And here's all that data in the form of a HAR file on my desktop. You can see it's a little bit big and there's not an easy way to open this, which is why I made this freemium tool here that will work with any HAR file and parse out the data here from LinkedIn, link in the description. I just drag and drop the HAR file here and the freemium tool will process the HAR file and group together similar requests with similar JSON data back with those raw content IDs I want. So here it's helpful if I paste in one of the content IDs I'm looking for to see which group of requests has it. So I can find a match here in the first group of requests. However, this is a quite large group. So I can see here the second group is only about 374 kilobytes, but this first group here is over five megabytes. So because we just need the list of IDs, less is more. So I'd rather extract the data from this smaller group of requests. It's going to be easier to process in the bigger group. So what I can do here is on the free version of this tool, I can download the raw data from LinkedIn. And when I release the search term, I'll see more data. And I can see here that the urn, they call it, or the content ID is here in this field called urn. And then there's a colon and I can keep searching and I can write my own program or do this manually or whatever and get my own list of content IDs. So now I want to release a search term to get more of these. I'm just going to delete this and then I'm going to scroll down to where I saw that group of requests earlier. And then I can see all of the raw requests here under this search lazy dash loading thing. And then I can download all of these files individually and then combine them together on my own. However, if I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing all this, any paying CVC data user will see this parse button here to access the premium feature. This will automatically combine all those JSON files together and make them downloadable as CSV files in the form of these collections. So I can see here these content IDs live in this collection here under report action for whatever reason. And I can download this as a CSV file and I'll get back all 70 rows from all the 70 articles that we paginated through. Now I have all those content IDs here in column A. So I'm going to copy all these and I need to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text and I'm going to search for all these prefixes like earn li share and earn li ugc post. And then I can just use the option key to make a vertical cursor and then make this look like a Python list. So I can then copy this again and put it back in my source code as a Python list. Now, instead of embedding those two articles we found manually, it's going to embed all 70 of these articles we found through our scraping technique because we carefully read and curated all of them, if anyone asks. So here you can see the page is taking a long time to load. I don't recommend embedding 70 articles on one single page. You know, you can think of something else that you want to do on your website. This is just a local testing site. This is obviously a joke. Uh, I would not suggest publishing a page like this, but you can see that I have all 70 loaded here and you can use this for whatever purposes you think would be useful. If you want to create a content or a curation hub, you may find this useful to do and hopefully your website visitors will find this useful too. Well, I hope I showed you how easy it is to become an expert. So now I realize the scraping approach is not very simple and it's not for everybody. So it is a little bit complex and hands-on. It's just due to the nature of how LinkedIn sends data to the web browsers. And also, like I mentioned earlier, the legality issues of using automated software that's specialized to use on LinkedIn. That's probably going to get you in trouble. Whereas the tool that I'm showing you is a general solution that just gets data out of your network traffic history. Please like if you learned something and let me know your feedback in the comments below. Is there something else you want to do with LinkedIn or another feature or functionality you'd like to see me cover? Thank you so much for watching. Stay amazing and stay data driven.